human digestive system. The human digestive system is a complex series of organs and a glands that processes food. In order to use the food we eat, our body has to break the food down into smaller molecules that it can process. It also has to excrete waste. Most of the digestive organs, like the stomach and intestines, are tube-like and contain the food as it makes its way through the body. The digestive system is essentially a long, twisting tube that runs from the mouth to the anus, plus a few other organs like the liver and pancreas that produce or store the digestive chemicals. The digestive process The start of the process, the mouth. The digestive process begins in the mouth. Food is partly broken down by the process of chewing and by the chemical actions of salivary enzymes. These enzymes are produced by the salivary glands and break down starches into smaller molecules. On the way to the stomach, the esophagus. After being chewed and swallowed, the food enters the esophagus. The esophagus is a long tube that runs from the mouth to the stomach. It uses rhythmic, wave-like muscle movements called peristalsis to the force food from the throat into the stomach. This muscle movement gives us the ability to eat or drink even when we're upside down. In the stomach, the stomach is a large, sac-like organ that churns the food and batches it in a very strong acid. Food in the stomach that is partly digested and mixed with the stomach acid is called is called kayam. In the small intestine, after being in the stomach, food enters the duodenum, the first part of the small intestine. It then enters the jejunum and then the ileum the final parts of the small intestine. In the small intestine, bile produced in the liver and stored in the gallbladder, pancreatic enzyme and other digestive enzymes produced by the inner wall of the small intestine help in the breaking down of food. In the large intestine, after passing through the small intestine, Food passes into the large intestine. In the large intestine, some of the water and electrolytes are removed from the, from the food. Many microbes in the large intestine help in the digestion process. The first part of the large intestine is called the seum. The food then travels up, upward in the ascending colon. The food travels across the, the abdomen in the transverse column goes back down the other side of the body in the descending column and then through the segmoid column. The last and the end of the process, solid waste is then stored in the rectum until it is exerted via the anus. Human Digestive System